What's poppin', y'all? It's D Drug with One Shot Game. Man, you already know what time it is and how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to soak up all the game you need to help improve your life for the long run. Because as I always say in all my videos, you only get one life. There is no do-overs. There is no repeat. There is no none of that. It's 365 days in a year. Those are all the days that you can soak up all the game you need and no one day will be the same like you gotta understand how um important that is you know what i'm saying and and as i'm i'm going through the motions of each day i'm just passing the game on to others you know what i'm saying i know a lot of time they say the game is to be so not told to listen those sometimes things in life change when it's when when you know what i'm saying it's it's time i'll get there but for now i just want to see my people do better in life y'all don't even understand how much hatred and discrimination and dislike and jealousy and e envy i see in my city of sacramento like i've been watching it my whole entire life it's sad like can't nobody eat can't nobody have no confidence. Can't nobody be shining. Can't nobody do nothing without the crabs in a bucket mentality. Somebody hating on them. And and if we all truly believe in ourselves that we can achieve that goal, it wouldn't be no animosity because you know as well as everybody else knows that they can do the same things you're doing. But it's a lot of us who lack that mindset and we're stuck in one place. So it's a it's a dog eat dog type of city and it's it's terrible. You know what I'm saying? People are willing to kill for this shit. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's sad. It's sad. As us as humans shouldn't have to worry about losing our life because, you know, we're successful or we're blessed or you know what I'm saying, uh things that other people don't have. Like it's it's crazy weird to be. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Again, thank you to all my supporters. You guys are great. For the ones that be tapping in, uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's not, you know, about the, the, the likes or the views at this point. It's all about the reach. So I would really appreciate it if y'all could share and, and like, you know, what I'm saying, the video. Because I think it's important for people to know certain things. Because we have been conditioned and mind controlled to think a certain way about ourselves. That is why it is the crabs in a bucket mentality in the city of Sacramento. It's, listen, it's a big city, but it's small once you've been in it for so long. And I think that's only because everybody tends to operate and think the same. You know what I'm saying? But again, Sacramento is really a big city for real. I just been here for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I wanna make the topic of this video on the dysfunction in families and the understanding that at the end of the day family are gonna be the ones that be at your funeral <laughs> when it's time to go six feet under the same ones that talk about you behind your back the same ones that, you know, uh, have some ill will, some malice against you. The same ones that you figured out how to finesse, get over on, do some dirt to. Them are going to be the ones that's going to be at your funeral. Period. Doesn't matter how they feel about you. They're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, just, just a personal experience when when you get hurt in life and and your soul is damaged usually it comes from someone in the family first you know what i'm saying and and once your soul becomes damaged you don't tend to look at labels when you hurt people it's just people you know what i'm saying that's how you look at them doesn't matter if you family or not you know but i but i think people tend to not understand that however a person choose to raise you or you got raised or you know what i'm saying you went through life with a family member 
they were only raising you from their understanding of knowledge of how their life is of course yes everybody wants to say oh well if they went through that they shouldn't have did that to us and if their life was like that they shouldn't have raised us like that okay get it i understand but a lot of people don't grow and learn that fast especially if they don't have the tools to know anything different than what they know and, and a lot of times the main people saying that be having traits that come from their family members too. They just hide it really good. You know what I'm saying? And, and they don't be understanding that growth is important. But if you don't have the knowledge or the tools or the skills to learn something other than what you know, that will not happen. I'm pretty sure every single person in a family has picked up some type of trait that is in their family. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? But but when people get hurt, they tend to only think about how that family member hurt them, how that family member made them feel. You know what I'm saying? And they're not really understanding that however you were raised, however you grew up is due, again, to their level of understanding and what they went through now. I understand that emotions come with that. You know, the, the emotion of hurt, the emotion of pain, the emotion of withdrawal, the emotion of feeling stuck, you know. But at some point in your life, you have to forgive them because you won't have another family. This is still going to be the same family. You know what I'm saying? That you always are going to have. It's not going to change. And the forgiveness is, is not for them. It is for you. Depending on whatever the circumstances is, what depending on how serious of the situation, you can go off and live your own life by yourself without having no contact with that family member. But if you are still holding on to that feeling and emotion of whatever they did to you, it is going to affect your life in some way. You have to be able to forgive them. Not for them, but for you. Otherwise, you will harbor that pain forever. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like when people get hurt and the feelings are really crippled, they, all they can think about is I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. I'm doing things out of hurt. I'm doing things out of pain. Nobody asked me about my life and what I went through and the reason why I am this person or the reason why I act like this. You know what I'm saying? And and listen, it's just, I think it's because we've been taught, especially in my family, to not express our feelings. But me personally, I've had some serious conversations with all my family members. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that it should be a safe space to be able to talk and express things that are either locked up in the closet and nobody refuses to talk about them, but really damage some people. And even if you only speak of it that one time, to get that out instead of hiding behind it or locking it up in the closet will help your soul become at peace. Because I'm going to say it again, you won't get another family. You were born into the family that you're born into, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And listen to me. Depending on the level of hurt and what they did to you does not mean you have to forgive them and keep going around them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is forgive them for you because they know not what they do. It was learned and taught to them and they projected the same lifestyle onto you. But you do not want to go living your life holding on to that pain and resentment because it will cripple you at some point in your life it may not be today it may not be tomorrow it may not be weeks from now but at some point it will double back and then not being able to show forgiveness you know what i'm saying for yourself of what they did would mean that you you are just as harsh on yourself 
you don't forgive yourself when you make mistakes. And again, it's okay to make mistakes in life. That's what life is about. It's all about a learning experience. It's all about, you know what I'm saying, what we see and what we grow through and to be able to learn, you know? But a lot of us don't go outside our family box, meaning we only stay in the family box which means you're only subjected to what's learned in the family box. You cannot learn anything else or grow anywhere else because you're not open to to trying to get to know other people who might have a different set of skills than maybe what is taught in your family. That does not mean push away from your family. It just means be open. Don't be so afraid of other people and meeting new people. You know what I'm saying? Then people can can you know maybe show you traits that you've never seen before in your life or know things that you know you don't know and then you use them in your life and next thing you know that difficult situation or you know what i'm saying something you could have went through in your life now you figured out a different way how to deal with it people are people period none of us can sit up here and act like it is a perfect person in the world that just does everything right, doesn't hurt no one's feelings, you know what I'm saying, and just does everything perfect. That person does not exist at all. You know what I'm saying? And it's very important, though, because when you have a child, you're only raising them to the level of how you were raised and sometimes people do improve and and you know what i'm saying maybe change some things than how their parents raised them okay i get it but a lot of times them same traits and patterns that you learned are passed down to your kids you know in in in, in the video i'll get to a few examples of how that is and you will be able to see for your own self you know what i'm saying and listen it's also another way that family members will tend to dislike other family members based off a of word of mouth of what they heard from someone else and and that and that has to be something that you are dealing with within yourself either you have experienced that and it made you feel some type of way or you are not confident enough in yourself to apologize when you find out that the person they're they're lying to you about has never really did anything to you personally not you know and i'm just speaking from my own experience any family member of mine you know what i'm saying cannot say that they ever had a personal experience with me where i completely just dogged them out or did them wrong they cannot say that you know what I'm saying? Anytime a person may have felt like that is because they listened to someone by word of mouth who portrayed something to somebody else and made it look this certain way. And that's crazy to me because that is how I, I think another way families get disconnected because, of course, families talk, but you have some older ones in the family they don't have no life they don't have nothing going on and they could be hurt from whatever pain they experience in life from a family member so all they do is talk about people and stir up gossip between the family so now a certain set of family members don't like these certain set of family members all due to some gossip they heard from you know the popular family member it's crazy to me it don't be making no sense because it's like listen we're adults if you have not talked to that person face to face personally what are you mad at them for? Because again, like I said, that mind manipulation, be strong. All you need is one person to tell something to somebody. That person tells it to someone else. They tell it to someone else and it travels down the line. Now you got a whole group of family members that dislike one person off of a lie that somebody told. Instead of going to that person and actually talking to them. But people's pride be so high once they find out they got they got duped so now they don't want to feel less than so even still going to that person and apologizing they just don't have enough pride to do that because they ashamed of themselves for even believing the lie in the first place
especially if you grown. You know what I'm saying? We're grown. If you're over 18 and you are you are hearing a bunch of he say, she say from people about somebody and you can't call that person and actually talk to them face to face, that's where you fail that period right there. And then you actually listen to the gossip being told about someone else is beyond me. It's like we some hurt kids living in adult bodies because it's a bunch of he say, she say high school gossip. Not one single person has banged that person line and talked to them face to face in person and figured out what was real and what really happened. Or even for a second stopped and thought about all the interactions they had with that person and how they were never the way this person is portraying them to be. I promise you, people are good at doing that, especially when they need gratification for themselves i'm powerful enough to be able to convince everybody to not like somebody that is weak and don't have no power <laughs> and it is is it's sad because it's like i sit back and i think about how as long as i've been living my whole entire life i've never disrespected none of my family members but I've been talked about, walked on, disrespected, outbursts, all type of things, you name it. And, and I'm trying to figure out why. Why me? Why am I born into a family that seems to hate me when all the experiences I can remember is me just trying to be there and support them and listen to them and be there for them? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? But once you become confident in yourself, is you stop thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Now I understand why. Because a lot of people in general has nothing to do with family are hurt in the inside. So when you're hurt in the inside, you project that pain onto humans, period. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be no label between nobody. But it's really sad because it starts within families only for the simple fact a family member gets to know your weaknesses your strongness you know who you are your personality because most likely you're the uh, the son or the daughter of someone they know and so now they know how to articulate and play with that so so those be the ones that get that get you know what i'm saying stomped on first because we know how to play with you. We know your weaknesses and your strong suits and where you're not so strong at and how, you know, uh, uh, you gullible. And, you know what I'm saying? It's versus somebody on the streets where you don't know them like that. And you don't know where their strong suit is. And you don't know how, you know what I'm saying? How you could have met your match by trying to manipulate them. So the, the, the manipulation and the lying usually starts inside the family. Which is crazy to me because... A lot of times, again, it's, it's, it's coming from a place of hurt. If we stopped and thought about how someone hurt us and it is not right to project that pain onto someone else just because someone hurts us and they didn't have nothing to do with it. They didn't have nothing to do with it. And it took me a long time to figure that out. You know, I... I, I is <laughs> as much as I love my grandmother, may she rest in peace. She she as she got older did a lot of unspeakable things to me that I just couldn't understand. You know what I'm saying? You know, but then I had to understand all that was coming from a place of hurt. She was hurt. I was coming out and I was coming for everything I said I was, my daughter being the main one. And you actually had someone around you that was a child and loved you and you knew I was coming for mine. And then I tend to leave you by yourself alone to face who you really are and you didn't like that. So you pulled every trick out of the bag to try to take me down. Didn't work though, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you really gotta like live your own life stay away from the ones that are so upset and not forgiving themselves 
for the way their life turned out to be because they are the first ones that will easily project that pain onto others, especially the ones that are sensitive. You know what I'm saying? And people don't be understanding that. Like, I had to deal with my grandma from a distance. Did I stop coming over here? No, I would come every now and then, but I'm not coming over here every day. You're not going to drag me through the mud every day because of how you feel about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's just her being a human and us coming around and, and her being able to, you know what I'm saying, drag anybody that is around. You know what I'm saying? Because we wasn't the only one she did it to. You know what I'm saying? But I, at the same time, I couldn't have no hatred towards her. Because without my grandmother, there would be no me. You know, she had my mother. But she was just so hurt and broken in the inside. And it's easy. You know what I'm saying? When In her younger days, she had a good job. She had money, so I never seen that side of her. But when she got older, it's kind of like if whatever you don't heal at that time will come back and slap you back in the face as you get older. It's like you're, you're it's like, you know what I'm saying? When you're a kid, you want to be older. And then when you get older, you, you go back to a kid. So when she got older, she just start reflecting back everything that happened in her life. Some stories we had to hear 53,000 times. She was hurt and, and, and. It had nothing to do with me, y'all. I wasn't even born. I wasn't even born. You know? So it's all kind of like, you know, how you react to situations. In the first year of 2020, she did everything she could to try to take me down. But mentally, how I reacted to it, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I think that's where... People got to get an understanding that. And sometimes it takes people longer than others. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But but for, for my grandma, you know what I'm saying, to be hurt about her own life, she, she did show people she loved them and cared about them. And when she passed away, man, <laughs> that's, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? I, I, sometimes I can't understand. You know what I'm saying? And it's because I think a lot of people are hurt in the inside still. They can't seem to get past their own hurtness inside themselves. You know what I'm saying? If you was able to look past my grandma maybe knocking you down because she 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 mad about her life and how it turned out. You would get to see that on the other side of that. You feel me? She had she had a good heart. She gonna help you if you need help. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the part where people seem to not understand. They only looking at from their level of hurt and pain. So they can't see it no other way. Oh, she's dragging me down. Oh, she's talking about me. Oh, she's mean. Like, wasn't nobody just born that way? She went through something in her life. And I get it. Most people be like, well, she should treat people better. Understood. But if you still hurt and you putting it in the back and you acting like it don't exist and you don't acknowledge it, it's going to show some way or another. But people have a way of going through life. As long as they got material possessions and they look good and they can stunt, you know what I'm saying? That's going to ignore the fact that when I'm by myself, I be hurt for real. I got all type of shit going on with me. Y'all never even know, because when I step outside, I make it look good. And that's the sad part, because as you get older, it will eat you up. And my grandmother is a prime definition example of how that could happen. I never knew her to be the person that was so hurt and broken as long as she was working and she had money. I didn't see that side of my grandma. But as she got older and, you, and, and you're not working and you're not getting as much money as you was back in, back in the day, you start to see the real true colors. You know what I'm saying? And, and now it's at a time and in, in point in period in life where sometimes you don't even got to wait till that person get older. You can see it now. But it's parts of them that they are running from and they're refusing to heal. And so they're thinking everyone in the family is an op. How is that even possible if your DNA is tied to these people? <laughs> if, if they are op, you are op. 
<laughs> you feel me? I don't be understanding. You know what I'm saying? I, I, listen, as a human, you don't have to deal with nobody's crap. You don't. You know what I'm saying? But learn how to forgive them for treating you in a way that they learned or it was done to them. Because people are not born hateful and ugly. They're not. There is traits that are taught to them. So if you want to be mad at them, be mad at the people before them. Be mad at the people before them. Be mad at the people before them. Because it's something that was passed down that nobody decided to heal. And it was just passed on to you. And you got hurt by it so bad that you either, you know what I'm saying, think everybody in your family is an op or you treat people the way that you got hurt. Instead of dealing with it, bringing it to the front and dealing with that pain so that you do not take your emotions and your hurt and pain and put it onto someone else, family member or not. Because at the end of the day, to be able to survive in the world, you have to be able to communicate with other human beings. And other human beings are not going to deal with someone that is projecting their pain and hurt onto others because they refuse to deal with it. It don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, listen, I'm all for family. I am. You know what I'm saying? I really am. But don't be so shielded by that label that you refuse to look at the fact that maybe someone in that family could be doing you wrong instead of facing it and admitting it and speaking up you'd rather take the heat because you don't want to be looked at as someone who's going against the family you know what i'm saying listen you don't if they did something to you you don't got to be around them forgive them forgive yourself and and you know what i'm saying keep your energy away from that you know what i'm saying but don't just discard your whole family I had the biggest scandal happen to me. I had something happen a little bit after I got out of prison that had nothing. I, I <laughs> Listen, that didn't happen to me. But due to the nature of the circumstance and what took place, now everybody was against me. I couldn't even, me and my daughter couldn't even turn up at family events based off of a lie. That had nothing to do with me because I was gone in prison for three years. Mind manipulation is strong and it works. But for some reason, as strong as people are, and as adult they say they are, they will never go to the person and talk to them directly. And when they do, due to their level of hurt or whatever pain they went through, they'll make it seem as if they're still upset or they're still mad. You know what I'm saying? It's Listen, it's crazy. Because I just believe that a lot of things have went that be going on in families. People don't want to admit it. People don't want to confess. People don't want to tell the truth. Because it's family. We're taught to be quiet. Don't undermine anybody and give the utmost respect. And I understand and I get it. But listen, as human beings, when you get hurt, you don't see family. You see people. And if you're hurt by people, you're going to treat them people the same way. As the people who hurt you. It's just facts. You know, we can be able to get further ahead if we're able to positively communicate. Positively forgive ourselves. Understand that, yes, I'm hurt. But but I can't carry this on for 40, 50 years. You can forgive, but you don't got to forget. But to come, be, to, but to become at peace with oneself, you have to understand that forgiveness is important. But you do not have to forget how any human being has treated you. But I know for a fact that families are always going to be family. You cannot just close your eyes and wake up and be put into a different family. It doesn't work like that. So if we learn how to become at peace with ourselves, we can become at peace with others. Sometimes it hurts so bad, people don't even want to talk about it. They'd just rather put it to a, the back and act like it never happened. You know, I see a lot of, of women in families, like, idolize their sons, but don't really, you know what I'm saying, give that same type of love to their daughters. And that is because the the how you treat your daughter 
is is you actually running from the emotions you refuse to feel. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to deal with yourself and your level of pain and hurt and knowing that your daughter is an exactly, exact replica of you, you just refuse. You know what I'm saying? To even treat her with the same love as how you treat your son. Your son get all the glory, all the praise. You know what I'm saying? He can do no wrong in your eyes. But your daughter, you just look at her as you. And and I see it a lot on how mothers treat their daughters very differently from their sons. When we should be just as equal. If you heal yourself, you won't look at me as the op. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm you, basically. But with my own personality. But a lot of the traits I carry came from you and your mother and so on and so on. So you have to be able to heal yourself. You know what I'm saying? To be able to show your daughter the love that she need, which is why I, I'm 10 toes about mine. I, get, I show my daughter and I talk to her and I tell her because I do not want her to, you know what I'm saying, have that same level of, of, of karma same level of feeling like you ain't worth nothing and you just got to give yourself away to somebody because you don't feel like you valid you are valid you are somebody you know what i'm saying i love you little girl you know what i'm saying i'm willing to do whatever i can to show you that despite my mistakes you know what i'm saying but anyway the discord between family members a lot of us <laughs> will go to the grave without ever talking about that pain and hurt and then we'll show up to the funeral and we'll get on the stand and say all the good things. But then once we go to the to the repast and everybody eating and the music on, you hear how whoop de whoop wasn't this, how whoop de whoop, you know, wasn't shit, how they scamming, scheming, how they talked about. Listen, no. Now is the time to become at peace with yourself. So you can be able to understand. You know what I'm saying? Family gonna be forever. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Just listen put yourself in a box and only be around people that you can mind control them you know what i'm saying you should be able to be around people without feeling like you're gonna get hurt but if you feel like that it's because you refuse to look at the things inside yourself so you're now in fear of feeling like everybody is gonna hurt you and because it started with a family member you refuse to be around family. And it's it's beyond me. You know what I'm saying? First, first and foremost, as adults, stand on business. Talk face-to-face -face or one-on-one -on -one with somebody you have a beef with. Stop beating around the bush and listening to gossip. And he say, she say, and manipulation. All that is weak. And that's why the family structure be crumbling because, because of those things right there. A lot of families don't even get together from my culture. Only when it's a funeral. That is sad. That is really sad. Because we are so hurt and in pain. And we refuse to talk. And we refuse to try to get an understanding amongst humans. Period. Because when you go out into the world and you negotiate with someone... You're negotiating or trying to get him to understand a different view. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's human interaction with others. But you can't do the same thing with your family members, the people that's going, you know what I'm saying? Be your, 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 your people for life. Now, due to the level of hurt, if a person hurts you so bad, I'm not saying forgive them and be around them. That's not what I'm saying. But I, everybody in the family can possibly hurt you. You know what I'm saying? You just got to tailor to that one. And and listen, if you are not bold enough to go ask that family member the pain that they dealt with and their story and their journey, and they may be even too shy or embarrassed or too hurt and hid from it for so long, they don't even want to tell you. But then you'll you, you if you try, you'll get your understanding that way instead of blaming them or, you know what I'm saying, judging them or being hateful towards them when they've only projected things that were done to them it's sad but it's the way it is you know what i'm saying and it's a real discord amongst family members 
when it should be more unity. And even the ones that be looking good and everything's cool, it's still a bunch of dysfunction in every single family. I don't care how good they look. But it's a lot of dysfunction, a lot of it in, in, in my culture families. Secrets, lies, hidden in the back of the, the closet that people refuse. Forgiveness, can't forget. It's sad, but it's the truth. And I think now we come into a time in life where once people are gone, you can't get them back. So all your shoulda, coulda, wouldas, manipulations and lies, you, it's, it's, no, it's, it's it. They're gone. You will never be able to get them back. That, to me, hurts more than me holding on to my anger and aggression of what they did to me. I can forgive you. I will not forget, but I can forgive you. Because if something was to happen to you tomorrow or any time after that due to, you know, God, the higher power's judgment, I don't have no control over that. I'll be hurt knowing that we had no communication. It's done. Let's, you know, stop being hurt little kids and grown up bodies. It's time to grow. And I know you guys can do it because if you guys got kids or you out there living on your own you know how to handle life you ain't slow you just choose to act a certain way with family members but at some point in life that hurt and pain will slap you back in the face so why not get closure with it right now while people are still living because death has to be the ultimate hurt and and they can't come back from that Man, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We need to have more get-togethers like Medea. You know, barbecues, family get-togethers. Every since, you know what I'm saying? It, it just ain't like the, ain't like it been. We just get together for a funeral, and that's that. Man, listen, let's make it happen. Heal oneself. You don't gotta you don't gotta forget, but you can't forget. Not for them, but for you.